The audio is absolute total trash. Today, we are reviewing a B&H photo cheap stuff haul. I bought a bunch of stuff that was in the deal zone or was dirt cheap on B&H. And we're going to look over what I got. I spent, looking at the monitor here, a total of $83.16 on everything that I bought. You wouldn't need all of this stuff. Uh, some of it's duplicated, but in this order we have a XLR to headphone plug cable. Plug it into a mic, plug it into a headphone. And we have this Tascam battery powered condenser microphone. Oh, the box is here. Tascam battery powered condenser mic. And we have two of the infamous Intova dub action cameras. They look like this. And their cases look like this. Or, because you're watching me on one right now, here's the other waterproof case. Intova dub action camera and I got two SD cards, 32 gigs each, to go into the action cameras because those are uh, really cheap now. <clears throat> so what did we get for our $83? You probably have noticed that I don't sound very good. Let's take this Tascam TM60 battery powered microphone which they were so not cheap that they sent a battery with it. Let's take this microphone and see if we can get better sound. Now, it came with a nice XLR cable, but we don't want to use that. We want to use this cable I bought specifically to attach it to a telephone. It came with a cute little desk tripod, and that tripod also came with a mic clip to put the mic into. So let's do that really quickly. There we go. Do I sound better yet? Oh, how's that sound? This is now a review of the Tascam TM60 battery powered condenser microphone. It looks on the phone like it's a little quiet unless I eat it like this. No, it's still quiet. Yeah, so it's not super loud, but you'll edit that in post, so who really cares? The other question is, how good is the Intova Dub? These things go on sale at B&H regularly for $20. And you'd think for a, an action camera that can do 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second, and 1280 by 720 at 60 frames a second, that this camera is probably garbage. And to some extent, you're right. However, this thing, I don't even know how to explain it. It was designed to be an action camera, a dash camera, it's got time-lapse modes, it's actually got a lot of interesting features, and it's hard to believe that they can sell that for $20. So I'm going to go through this list here and tell you what everything cost me the day I bought it and what it costs now. The microphone you're now listening to me on, the Tascam TM60 was $20. If you go get the Tascam TM60 today, how much is it going to run you? Uh, probably $60. Ooh. $60. It's, this is a $60 microphone now, except it's back-ordered because they sold them all. But they sold it to me for $20, so its actual value is not $60. I don't know, you tell me. Do I sound like $60 right now? Let me know. The XLR adapter cable was... For me, that day, it was $8. It's still $8. The Intova Dub, holy crap. They go on sale regularly, okay? Regularly at B&H. For 
dollars each. It is now a hundred dollars. And the card is a 32 gig Kingston um, Class 10 UHS-1, nothing very special, micro SDHC card. Five dollars. So I got the camera for 20 and the card for five, and I got two of that set. So let's let's just be clear here. None of this hardware is high-end amazing stuff, but that is a wide-angle camera that you can get on a sale periodically for $20 each. This microphone was $20, so you can probably wait it out and find it on sale for $20 again in the future. And the card was $5. And chances are pretty good that you have a cell phone in your pocket already to do the recording with, assuming I didn't just pull that out. Um, so $20 mic, $20 camera, $5 card. And I got the uh, $8 adapter cable. That's $53 plus tax, and I think they gave me free shipping. $53 for a camera and a good mic that you can use to record yourself. The camera can also double as a very, very high-quality webcam. It is way better than any standard built-in webcam that I've ever seen on a computer. So if nothing else, it gets a free pass from me for being a $20 glorious webcam. I haven't tested the underwater housings yet. I'm not going to do that right now. But I just find it interesting that these things are so cheap and they actually aren't garbage. This is the one time I said, you know what? I think I will spend my money on things that are cheap and see what happens. And um, I blew $83 and I think I actually made out pretty well. So... So I found a little bit of a problem during editing. It turns out that the Intova Dub action camera outputs variable frame rate footage. And said variable frame rate footage, um, it suffers from a little problem where the frame rate is variable. So you have to take it into handbrake and tell it to encode with a constant frame per second of 29.97 to get it pushed back to a constant frame rate. But even then, the audio drifts a little. Not that you'd want to use the audio, because the audio, well, you'll find out later. Maybe you subscribe to B&H's Deal Zone and watch Amazon and such, and see if things like this come up for 20 bucks. Check the reviews. Um, I bought these because the reviews were not terrible. The Intova Dub's reviews aren't great. But they weren't terrible. Um, you know... I got a good deal. You could get a good deal, too. You've just got to watch out for it. You have to catch them when they happen. There is one complaint that I have that I noticed almost immediately, though, and that is that the Intova Dub, while it actually takes good wide-angle photos and it takes decent video, too, the 1920 by 1080 isn't amazing, but it's way better than you'd think for a camera you can buy for $20 brand new. The audio is absolute total trash. Welcome to my aquarium. I am having my vocal cords dragged through the gravel at the bottom. Sounds great, doesn't it? Goodbye. <laughs>